Oh, friendlies. And yet it's called a Spriggan Savage. Oh, um, moments. maybe not quite so friendly. Knock knock, used to lighting enemies on Taste fire first. My fury. I aim true. Stay behind me. Aim carefully. Be easier if you not fight back. This is going to hurt. Bring it! I got you dead. Okay, not what I was expecting. It was blue, so I was like, friendlies! There are no friendlies here. Done. At the bottom of the well, half hidden underwater, lies a broken bucket tied to a piece of rope with a dead spriggan with a broken neck. I was wondering if they would come into the same battle to battle everyone. Uh, I'm not really concerned. These battles are pretty easy. Burn. Yeah, yeah, whatever, bro. Whatever. Tear them apart! I'm not really that concerned. Yeah, these guys may concern Cannot me a little bit. From me. Never mind. <laughs> I didn't see the way that they went smaller. <laughs> That's funny. Um, can you please go a little this way, dear? I want to see this guy. Attack! There we go. Uh, I mean, I kind of wanted them to come to me. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's delay. It's gonna be the crossbowman, isn't it? All right, it's this guy. Great, off you go then. Let us strike at one. Come here, Bax. Not nice. Okay, I'm not gonna wait for him to come to me. Oh, he got big. Flames, take it. They go down. Nowhere to run. <laughs> Solid plan. Do Go, Valerie. Falter. Nice work, Valerie. Okay. We just gotta double check. This leads out to where we were. More or less. More or less, yes. Let's go. This poor little doggy's probably lost his master. I am yours to command. To arms! Raider, fighter, crossbowman. A troop. You guys are really fragile. You know that, right? Taste my fury. Forwards! Which knife to use? Okay, just go up, bow. Oh, you're not gonna get the Miri. Sorry. Oh, we have a new friend. Where is the new friend? No, it was just him. I grant you death. Can't see you, sir. <sighs> okay, now I can see you. Cannot hide from me. Next round, we'll get him. This is going to hurt. Aim carefully. Hurrah! 
knock knock used to lighting enemies on fire first. It's okay. You're gonna get an opportunity to attack once he attacks. Bring it! And you will destroy him. Case in point. Nowhere to run. Thanks, Verity. Did so fast. Breaking it. Yoink. Alrighty. We are heading to the next uh, stage, which is inside this building. Hello. I really don't know what's happened to Varnhold. Um, I can't really see this fight. The way it's fighting against me. Savage, Raider, Crossbowman, Crossbowman. Well. I aim true. Thank you, Ekun. I can always rely on you to kill these guys in one round. Attack! Tear them apart! Be easier if you not fight back. Stay behind me! Burn! Wasn't the guy over there? I didn't see him. Damn it, Ekun, can you get him? Get you dead. Yay! He can still be relied upon to do it. A solid plan. They go down! Come here, back. Not gonna get Yeah! Can you get there, Valerie? Oh, you can! Great! Flames. This angle's really a struggle for me. Why do I keep hearing dogs? After you knock knock. There it is. Um, uh oh. Um, I see the the loud creature. Knock knock nervous when watched. Oh my god. You're doing terribly. I did it? I did! Would you like a kun to do it next time? I hope you're checking for traps before you open these, Valerie. Yeah, bad shiny thing. I did it. I did. You need to stop being so excited about this prospect. It's the minimum I expect of you. I literally cannot see. It's so dark I can't see. I literally cannot see anything. Brightness, 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 change. So you barely see the darker symbol. I can easily see that thing. But I can't see anything on the screen. Apply doesn't work, so I guess I just hit escape. Okay, that's a vague improvement. It sucks that I can't change like the, the angle. <sighs> Taste my fury. Forward now. Well, okay, as forward as you can get. Which knife to use? Without getting hit. Cannot hide from me. You missed. This is going to Ah, Kanira! You always get way Do too close. Your range is shorter than the others, and I keep forgetting. Bring it! Splooshed. Knock knock used to light it and he's on fire Whish. first. Destroyed. Aim carefully. Nowhere to run. Burn. You missed. Yes, he's gonna kill himself. Tear them apart! Training pays off. Training does pay off, yes. 
You are correct. Ooh, we've got two paths. Which door ought we take? I'm thinking down. Oh, it's an upstairs. Maybe the other way was better. I'm not sure. Very much delay. Let them do their thing first. There are so many of them. They go down! Yeah, nah, let's not do that, girl. Flames, take you. Onward! Damn it, that's a waste. Be easier if you're not fighting back. Attack! Ow, poor knock knock. Oh god, that was so dramatic. Taste my fury. Uh, if you come in, Okun, I, I, I literally can't move the screen, so you're just going to have to do your best. I can't go down. Stay behind me! Come here, Bats. I'm not going to stab you. A solid plan. It. Probably could have charged, but we're here now. This is going to hurt. Cannot hide from me. Which knife to use? Quite a bit of loot from this joint. Breaking it. Okay, I've got a door here, which seems to be the final location, I think. Upstairs, yeah, no, no, no. let's finish down here first. Nah, there's gotta be somebody down at the end, surely. I don't trust this room. Down better ones. Hello, sir. Is it just you? Ah, you have a friend. I'm not used to lighting enemies on fire first. Where's your other friend? I don't know where your other friend is. Burn. Ah, there you are. Forward. Hello. Let us strike at one! Mary Charge! Oh, it's a crossbowman. This will go well, unless I Ekun kills him. Yep, nice work, Ekun. Be easier if you don't fight back. Hello? Oh, we're still in combat. Oh, okay. Didn't realize. Flames take you. Hey, you got a shot off. Congratulations. You do that, Amiri. Next round. Ah, good. You did. Come here, Bax. Not that stab you. Brilliant. Yeah, as you were. Can we please loot this guy? So much Let's loot in this joint. It's great and a little worrisome. Me see, me keep. We me do indeed keep. You are spot on the money there, knock knock. You adorable little thing. Is that it? Righty. Back you go. To 
upstairs. Mega, why did you let Spriggans take over your joint? Oh, hello, main door. <coughs> A guy. The biggest Spriggan, scarred and beaten, bears his rotting teeth. I guess we can't rest even here. I bet you followed our trail from our very den. I don't know where you come from, bro. Forcing us from our home wasn't enough. Now you've come to finish us off. Well, a guy will not make this easy for you. Force out of your home? What do you mean? I'm only on 20. 22. Ugh. Well, that's unfortunate. Tear those scums, throw it out. No, let them come to us. Let them come to us. Okay. Taste my fury. Attack. Actually, you know what? I should just use a meteor. Me. Should like a fireball or something. Which knife to use? They go down. Oh shit! Hi. Oh, bro, I did not see you there. You're gonna have to die. They have high reflex. Who would have thought? It? Nowhere to run. It's okay. They're not very high uh, HP. Knock knock used to lighting enemies on fire first. The guy steps back, pressing his hand against his bleeding wounds. I didn't even touch you. Well, you got me. He hisses through his clenched teeth. Go on then. Keep hounding us, pushing us back. Clearly taking all we had wasn't enough. What are you on about? You attacked the citizens of Varnhold. You think me a fool? You attacked us in our own home, and now you've followed us here to finish the job. How could we possibly bother anyone in an empty city? I do not believe you. Believe what you want, I don't care. I'm not going to make up excuses for the likes of you. Are you saying the city was empty before you got here? Who cares? We arrived and no one else was here. We checked for traps, we checked for ambushes. Nothing. Totally lovable. The guy saw it for a moment. If I knew you'd follow us, I'd have taken everyone for even further away. Where are all the locals? No clue. Eaten by someone? Just gone? They left their belongings behind, doors wide open. Anyone could walk in and take what they like. Where's your former home? The guy glares at you with contempt and hatred. It's got a higher fail chance, but it's the nicer option. The guy grimaces. Fine, give me your map, I'll point it out. I'll let you go this one time, but mark my words, if you ever come to one of our towns or villages again, I'll make sure you regret it. The guy backs away slowly. Don't follow me. Well, as long as you don't go back to the Evergrown Cavern, because that's where I'm going next. But that doesn't help me find the clue of where the missing people went. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I got a letter. Baron Megavan, I am writing to you as your ally and well-wisher. The reason for my letter is the lack of foresight in your actions. You're trying so hard to become friends with this Baroness from Stagfall. You invite her to pay you a visit. You assure her of sincerity. You even send her rich gifts. Have you nothing more to do in your lands? I surely recommend you stop flirting with this upstart person. I am not an upstart. And turn your gaze to the affairs of the day. You are trying to cross the path with powerful forces that can reach you even in your own castle. You should know your place. With wishes of good health and calm sleep, your friend. But we don't know who it's signed by. I don't trust this guy. I got a boot. Unfinished letter from Mega Vaughn. Mr. Honorable Baroness Verity. Okay. He's going to talk to me about his state of affairs. I'd like to request your aid in a small matter. A few days back, an adventurer by the name of Willis Gunderson retrieved a mysterious bracelet from one of the ancient ruins scattered across Dunswood. Gunderson kindly turned it over to my court wizard, Safal. 
Sifu? Mm. Who continues to examine it as it lies on the table before me. It may be the most peculiar thing I've ever laid eyes on. The bracelet is covered in angular patterns that resemble a labyrinth, and it is adorned with an inscription in an unknown language. No learned man in Van Holt has been able to read this writing or deduce which culture the artifact belongs to. So, I ask for your aid. Please, if you have an archivist with deep knowledge of the history of this region, send them along to aid us in solving this mystery. I am sure that your capital has plenty of such learned men and women. Perhaps one of them will succeed in reading this inscription. Of course, I will return the Vordekai, 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 Vorda. What? So he read the inscription? Who or what is Vordekai? Okay. Yeah, I'm ignoring you. Right. So we're still on the wiser of where we're going, other than the overgrown caverns, which isn't going to tell me what happened to the people here. It'll just tell me why the Spriggans aren't there anymore. Huh. Wait, what did I miss? Hold up, back up. Oh. Dead dudes. With potions! How nice. You notice a huge black bird sitting on, still on a high fence by the exit as if waiting for you. It's a raven, glistening black and one of the largest ravens you've ever seen as you approach. It tilts its head and affixes you with a beady black eye. Look, fate, fat, tasty feather bag, hit it with stone. As you're about to leave, you hear a cracked voice. Hypocrite. Fat, tasty, talky feather bag? What did you say? A talking bird right in the middle of a mysteriously empty settlement. Are you behind what happened here? Throw a stone. No opening knows the questions, only echoing its last word. Hypocrite. What's the point of your false pity for these fools who you allowed to live? The raven gives a sharp caw, almost a bark. With no shelter, no family, and no missing a quotation mark, homeland, always on the run, all you did is prolong their suffering and take pride in your... The raven gives another sharp call, almost sneering. Chivalry. That's not true. A guy has a chance for a fresh start. I don't care where they go or what happens to them. That's exactly why I let them go, so they could suffer a while. Oh, wow. My, a talking crow. Now, if you say anything worth hearing, that'd be impressive indeed. Eh. Miserable hypocrites. You seek to justify your actions? You're asking me to justify why I sought mercy. Interesting choice. The raven gives a series of causes of laughing. There is no justification. No, no, no. Why are you here? Are you one of the thieves that lived in this miserable settlement? What do you know about the vanishing of Varnhold? Only that the people of this dusty village were thieves. Thieves and bandits who didn't respect the law and didn't know their place. Inferior beings don't dare touch that which belongs to their masters. Who are you? I'm not from Varnhold, but I will find out what happened here. You. The raven gives a short, barking caw. What arrogance. What pride. You, Thrall. Do not follow one crime with another. You will suffer the same fate. Who are you? My name is Verity. Now tell me who you are. I'm guessing to you new to these parts, if you still don't know who I am. Why did you take to the air and ask around? I am Verity, the Baroness of the neighbouring realm. Insult me again, insolent crew, and you'll regret it. Let's be, let's be pleasant. Raven regards you for a moment. Finally, it flaps its wings and without a sound takes flight. Moments later, it's nothing more than a speck in the sky than it is gone. Well, that's just bloody rude. You come here insulting me, asking me questions that make no sense, calling me a hypocrite. But how am I a hypocrite if you don't even know who I am? My actions have given no, you know, rise to hypocrisy. So why you judge me, crow? Get out of here. Assuming we are uh, before no combat on the way. So the only location I have are these caverns, which don't really seem connected. But like the crow seems to think it's connected. I don't know. I don't trust the crow as far as I can throw it, but. There. Oh, 
I forgot about you, Flameshire. Have I ever visited you? I apologize for putting you in the middle of frickin' nowhere. Alright, um, sure. Let's head towards the oat boy. What was the point getting that? But... There's another river there. Ugh, left to right, left to right, left to right. I don't know. Rotten Cave. Oh, that sounds positively charming. Oh, that's where the river actually starts. Never mind. Might have to do a heal. Valerie's looking a little worse for wear, the poor dear. Our duty calls. All right, come here, Cavern. Hello, barbarians. Hey, who's that over there? Walking over there. Barbarian standing guard at the cave entrance calls over to you coarsely. It's dangerous to walk around here. Better turn back. Amiri answers something in Halit, the native tongue of the Numerian Keller tribes. Never heard of it. After a brief exchange in Halit with Amiri, the guard switches back to common. Peace. If you want to speak with our elders or spend the night, you may enter. Just don't expect a free dinner. So you guys are the ones who kicked out the Spriggans. The path is clear. Okay. Excuse me. Just gonna loot on the way through. You didn't say anything about looting. I'm gonna assume it's allowed. Ancient scrap of script covered in leather. Okay. Edible moss. Bulga. I think that's what I'm gonna need to talk to. Recipe. Bulga. Hi. A half orc woman sits by the fire. Her clothes are made up of leather and fur, matching the rest of the barbarians. She notices, sorry, that's the next line. She frowns as she slides a finger along a map, crudely drawn on a crumpled sheet of paper. She lifts her gaze as she notices you. Huh. Guests. Who are you? If you're a friend, take a seat by the fire and let's talk. I'm Bulga, from the Tiger Lord's tribe. I lead this... Where are you from? Along Bravo's borderlands. Okay. The book of days lied on. Stops a knock-knock, she chuckles. Quite a beast you got there. Ones like that, we use for rags back home. Their hides aren't good for anything else. Ew. Ones like you I use for chowder. Meat like dung, not good for anything else. Knock-knock glares at the sturdy woman with a predatory look as he runs a finger along the edge of his blade. Are you a chieftain? Me? No, no. Just seasoned enough to lead a group. Our chieftain is Armag the Twiceborn. Bulgus says the name proudly, as though expecting recognition or awe. He's back home in Numeria right now. What's your chieftain known for? Long ago, he was the greatest of the Numerian chieftains, and Gorham's chosen. Armag was so strong, no mortal could strike him down. It was only when Phrasma herself challenged him to battle that he fell, and only because of her divine power. But now, Armag shamed her and came back from the afterlife. Did someone use a resurrection spell on him or something? Great Armag leads the Tiger Lords once more. Now is Armag the Twiceborn. And soon, word of our exploits will spread all over Avistan. I didn't know there were half-orcs among the Numerian barbarians. Barbarian shrugs. The orcs have lands nearby. A lot can happen between two neighbouring peoples. What are you doing here? We're looking for some ruins, or a cave, or something. I don't really know. Only Dugath knows exactly what we're looking for. He's a cleric, and he's our leader on this expedition. Well, him and the sisters. Who are the sisters? They're witches who serve Armag. They seem to know a lot about the world. History, gods, even other worlds. They're pretty smart talkers. You'd hardly believe the things they know. And they have these strange, unimaginable spells. When Armag ordered us to pack up for this expedition, we thought we'd be marching for a month. But they just waved their hands, whoosh! A tunnel of multicolored lights opened before us. The trip here took us just one hour. Can you imagine it? I wouldn't be surprised if you can't. Where might I find Dugarth and these sisters? We're in our main camp here. Bogger points at a cross on her map. If you're looking to hire us or have some other business, come visit. It'd be much better than digging around here in the dirt out here. Sorry, digging around the dirt out here. Have you found anything of interest? It'd be nice if we had. So far it's just dirt, crap, and monsters. Like we don't get enough of that back in Numeria. We found this hole and the monsters that were living here. We took a beating doing it, but we managed to kick them out. Then, after we searched the place, we found it as just a regular cave, nothing of note. After a day or so, we'll probably head out and keep searching. 
Do you know anything about the situation at Varnhold? Varnhold? Where's that? Barbarian looks down at her map and finds a rough sketch of the area. Hmm, no, no idea. I've never been there. Okay. <coughs> Don't mind me. We have to go. Should I put indenting our asses in this hole? We'll head out soon, most like. Safe journey to you. Do you mean they're in here or they're at a different location entirely? I guess she means they're not here. So the main camp is located elsewhere. Do I go through this tunnel to get to their other camp? Listen. Or is this just a dead end? Oh, it's just a dead end. Never mind. I did it. Let's I work. Did. Yeah, dead end. I was thinking maybe it had another end, but no. It does not. Valerie, can you please get your ass to the front? Thank you. Bye. I don't know where I'm going, but I will find them. So if this isn't the right location, why are you here digging in a cave while Dugarth and the sisters are over here? I'm a little confused. I'm also worried about this situation over here. Where is my border starting? Well, I own this land actually, so why don't I just head down to Flameshire, do some management and then head across. Not in cave. Ugh. Don't know that I want to know. Oh man, you weren't kidding about how slow this shit is. Oh man. Oh, I didn't save. Oh, it's okay. We're fine. Jubilos demands an audience. Bruh. You can demand as much as you like. It doesn't mean it's gonna happen. So let's go here. Seriously? I just left. <sighs> so far away. Really? I do not have a land. I didn't think I did. The norm's grave. Okay. This is not why I came here. Oh god, the bloody mountains. I should have gone north. I have a reason for going here. Bye. Can we just head north already? We're doing a lot of floundering to the east and south. Let's just go this way. <sighs> Don't have time we for will this. Prevail. Some random ass dudes. Skeletons? Oh dear. That doesn't bode well. Wait, none of you moved. So where is old mate? I don't assume I'm only being attacked from one direction. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, hi! I'm um, sure. Stay behind me. Be easier if you not fight back. Could you just not, please, sir? A Thanks. solid plan. Oh, he burned. Don't you worry about that. I graduate. That was really easy. Like a strike is one. Come here, back. Not to stab you. Who else is alive? Someone's still alive here. The grass moved over here. I don't know what that was about. Yeah, see? Yeah, it was him. Just invisible. Cannot hide from me. Okay. 
Hi, Liv. Hi, Liv. Live through 100 random attacks in the wild. I don't know that I've lived through 100. I've been skipping a lot. Does that count? Ruined tower, bloody far. Oh, god damn it. I must have had to have gone that way. I'm not really interested in side quests. I just want to go where I'm supposed to go. Oh my god, seriously? It's like literally the exact same battleground. Okay, no, it's not. It's a few meters down the road. Here we go. Enter. I need to get back to Flameshire. Uh, Flameshire? Flame I don't know what I called it. Oh, shit. On the low grounds of among the hills, some new Marian barbarians had set up camp. While obviously set up recently as a place to rest, it was thoroughly constructed. Along with the stake palisade, the Numerians had reinforced their camp with a deep moat. Spotting the body of some unlucky thief at the bottom, it seemed they made a good call. Tough fighters stood guard, watching us without a trace of friendliness. But once we introduced ourselves, they invited us to enter the camp and led us to see their leader. We were led to a man named Dugath, a middle-aged Kellard with a s sorry, with a gorgeous mane. Once charcoal black, now salt and pepper, as well as bronze skin hardened by the sun, wind and time, to the point that it almost looked like oak bark. Okay, that's an analogy and a half. Speaking with assertive tones, he invited us to dine with the Tiger Lords. That was the name of their tribe, and spend the night in their camp. Any business we might have with the tribe, he said, could we discuss in the morning once everyone was rested and refreshed? Sounds like you're going to try to kill me in the dark. Not wanting to offend the barbarians, who'd proven to be commendably hospitable, we accepted the invitation. Within minutes, we were seated by the bonfire with goblets in our hands. As guests, our goblets were wrought with skillfully decorated silver, with intricate carvings depicting scenes of battle. Do as I do, Amiri whispers. Whisper? Mm hmm? Into the Baroness's ear. They really care about tradition here. <coughs> the cupbearer filled everyone's goblets with wine. When Dugarth raised his cup, officially selling the feast, the Baroness did whatever the fuck Amiri did. <sighs> to my utter surprise, a barbarian friend spilled her wine on the ground and the Baroness followed her example. I thought the Numerians would be enraged, but they all followed suit. It was apparently a barbarian tradition, offering the first cup to the spirits. Only after the cupbearer filled their goblets again did the Numerians start to drink, and so did we. Whew, thanks, Amiri. I tell you would have fucked that up, because I would not have volunteered to do that. Oh, hello. Are you one of the sisters? The main cause, unsurprisingly, was meat. While hunting in the hills, the Mimarians had killed a deer and two wild boars, all now roasting over an open fire. As the tribe's guests, we were offered the best pieces. Is there a best piece? Ew. Fierce in battle, the Numerians were equally fierce at the table. They frantically tore the meat apart with knives, bare hands and teeth, as they were attacking the throats of their worst enemies rather than eating roast venison. Only one camp inhabitant didn't join the dinner. Far from the festivities, a slim woman wrapped in a grey cloak sat alone, her face hidden behind a piece of cloth. She was so quiet and still, at first I didn't realise she was a living being at all. The Baroness, demanded she be invited to the table, either didn't notice or just didn't decide it would be worse to ask the child who she was. Glancing cautiously between Dugarth and the woman, one new Marian explained that the woman was one of the defaced sisters, half a priestess, half wizard. So I'm just looking at the picture to see if there were any Amiri pictures, but nope. While they made travel with the Numerians, they never ate at the same table. Judging by the tone the barbarians used when speaking of the woman, it was easy to tell that none of them had ever, sorry, held any warm feelings for the defaced sisters. After everyone had eaten their fill, it was time for entertainment. The barbarians began singing a drawling song in their guttural language, known as Halit. Halit? Later, one of the Numerians explained that it was a ballad about a brother and sister who defeated a huge metal spider. A metal spider? What? The song that followed was a comedic piece about the adventures of a stupid werewolf. The Numerians all sang it together. It was clear that each of them knew that one by heart. Almost everyone clapped to the rhythm, though some stumped their knife handles on their shields, and a half old acquaintance, Bolga, accompanied she came, okay, accompanied the song on a wagon. Once the song was over, Dugath appealed to his guests, us, to surprise our hosts. The Baroness decided our best choice would be to cry that we didn't bring Lindsay. A tale of how we defeated the Staggled. Oh, that's a nice one. I like that one. A friendly sparring match. Nah. Me. 
tale of battle and heroic deeds was just what the barbarians were looking for. They listened eagerly, chimed in on each detail, and laughed and clapped at the most epic moments. Even Dugama found himself smiling and nodding as he listened to our story. Finally, the drinking and singing came to an end. Only bones remained from the feast, and the bonfire had turned, burned down to ash. Satisfied, the Numerians retired to their tents.